Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh. How do we get up there? Oh, you just go here? Okay. Grant uh, Absolution. Where, where did you go? I went back here in the little door by the... Uh, oh, I. you can clip through the door a little bit. I can see you. I'll go you on the other side. The door. Is there another door? Oh. Hi. <laughs> I need to grant um, absolution. Oh. I have sinned, Father. <laughs> it worked. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Music will guide you home. There's a neon sign here. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, I got music will guide you home over yeah. here as well. well I'm, I'm in the same room with you. Yeah. Well, it's it's on this. Uh, what looks like an organ. Oh. Oh, and I can I can. Well, hold on. I can uh, move this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, it gets you up there. So here, uh, you want to you want to spin it around? Yeah. Okay, so up here. Oh, I'm in a room. Okay, I'm in a room with a bunch of things. All right. I'm in a room. Okay. With um, different symbols. So I have heads that are in glass cases. And they have symbols such as spoon, uh, bucket. Uh, let me pull this lever see what it does. Oh, it opened a door for me. There you go. This is not creepy at all. Oh, okay. So I have a bunch of dolls that I can pick up, and I'm assuming put in seats that ah, are in the middle of the other room. Yeah, and it says here the ceremony will commence uh, when all those present are seated properly. Ah, okay. Um, hang on. Code of conduct. Men and women cannot sit on the same bench. Only sit in spaces your guild has paid for. We need ears everywhere. Never sit behind or in front of another resistance member. Okay. Is there anything I can help you with? I don't know. So I have like, I have a bunch of dolls with different hairstyles with purple hats. Ah, yes. I have... I um, have glass cases with, I oh. Glass cases with doll heads, I have those. Yeah, so I think the glass cases with heads corresponds to seating arrangement. Okay. I think. All right, so I have maybe two factions here, like a bucket and the other faction is like a spoon. Okay, I don't know. I that... see. A bucket and a spoon, okay. but I don't... So I have people that are in those cases. So, like, the spoon would be the lady with the blonde hair and the top knot, as well as a blonde lady with a purple Pope hat. Okay, so I see I have blonde Pope hat, but I do not have blonde... <laughs> Top knot. Although that looks like I see, that might be the king and queen. Mm -mm. Oh no, I have one. I have a seating arrangement with top knot as well. Like I can't interact. Oh, I see. I see. I'm looking down there now. Nice. Yeah, so this you might be able to help me since you can see from up above. Um, 
So like I see those symbols, the the gears, the spoon, the hammer, mm -hmm. and what was the last one? The bucket. Okay. Thank you for the gifted martini. Um okay. Can you place anything on those things or can you interact with them whatsoever? That's not creepy at all. You can grab so a I can head. Put dolls here. Perfect. I can put dolls here. Okay, um, good. This is good. Oh, I understand. All right. So, oh, what do you, you, got? See, you see where the spoons are? Okay, I see a spoon. Okay, so um, the only two that I have that go in the spoons, and and once we have these, we'll be able to figure out the rest with your clues. So, okay. uh, a lady with a pope hat and like uh, her hair is kind of flipped upwards. Uh, let me see if I have that. Blonde hair. Um, I don't have blonde, but I do have other... Unless what? there's more dolls that I'm missing. Well, let's try this for now. It goes on either spoon. Okay. okay. I put it on one spoon for now. I'm going right. to take the other doll back. Lady with a top knot. Blonde lady with a top knot. That right. I don't have. Well, I mean, I have this. Let's see this. This is you know, the closest thing I've got. All right. Okay. Next, I have, uh, for the bucket, I have uh, the Pope with, like, a goatee. I guess the hair color doesn't... I guess it's all the same here, yeah. A Pope with a goatee. Okay. And only only hair on his chin, like a... He goes on a bucket. Oh, you said that bucket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then also, I got two more for the buckets. I got uh, okay. a dude with a monocle, with like uh, with like a cool little hairstyle. He's got a monocle. Uh, left eye or right eye? Ooh, uh, his left. Yep. His left. Okay. He's a bucket. Well, he's guy. on a bucket, and one of the rules was men and women sit. Uh, cannot sit on the same bench. Okay. Right. So he said he was a bucket, so I can toss him there. He's a bucket guy. Last bucket person is a lady with a green ribbon in her hair. It's on the right side. With green ribbon. With, oh, I see it. Okay. Okay. So that's a bucket. Men and women cannot sit on the same bench. Okay. And I have two other people left, but they they have no allegiance. But they're beside each other in this case. They do have uh, under them like a little, f uh, maybe like an emblem or something. Like a, like a tabard type. I don't know. Uh, one of them has a goatee and okay. a top hat, and the other one has a monocle, and he's balding. Okay. I do have both of them. Yeah. I guess, but I guess we may have to place those since we don't have symbols. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's bring you back down because there are more. There's more stuff down here. Okay. That where like one can do the talking and the other can do the running. Good to go. So the crown is, oh. see, that's, Go to men and women cannot sit at the same bench, only sit in spaces your guild has paid for. So they're color coded out here. Ah, so I think. Oh, I think those two other, where's the mustache and monocle? These two guys here, they must uh, be part of the top left guild, right? Maybe. maybe? They have to be because they can't be part of the religious guild because they don't have the religious getup. True. Um, and here... Oh, you have the king and queen, okay, which are not sitting anywhere. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. So, 
Those are part of that guild. Those are part of that guild. So I guess... Huh. But why would I have... Are they, Can they be part of two guilds? Maybe they can. Because the religious people were also part oh, of like, the Spoon Guild, weren't they? This is a woman. Women have to sit on the same bench. Men have to sit on the same bench. This guy, purple. So he has to sit here. I think. What's a resistance member? I don't know. Oh, if they, I'm assuming if they have this. If, oh, so these are the resistance members. So it's like the oh. hammer. I see. So this the 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 person that sits at the spoon is a resistance member, or one of them is a resistance member. Never sit behind or in front of another resistance member. So yeah, but that's impossible. So, oh, so the so the the purple. The one wearing the purple hat that's sitting that's at the gears is a resistance member. So this one is a resistance member. How do you know? So according to this chart up here, it shows resistance member symbol is one in purple at the gears. So that whichever one goes in that seat is a resistance member. So that means a resistance and a Another resistance member cannot sit directly behind them. So the bucket. And there's only one resistance member of each? Mm, yes. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Now, the, the other question is, is the crown. Oh, it's red. Oh, so this. She sits. Oh, see, but this doesn't work, though. That can't work. Unless, bucket. Oh, wait. That might work. How do I know where these guys go? I don't understand. Where did uh He was upstairs in that in that thing. Oh true. But he didn't have a this was right. this guy. Is this a man or a woman? I think that's supposed to be a man. Because there's one man and one woman left? Let's see what happens. Yeah, I need one man and one woman here, I guess. No, I wait. I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. There's one left. I feel like there's a specific piece that we're not, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, something about this isn't right. Okay. So I'm going to read the rules again. Men and women cannot sit on the same bench. Only sit in spaces your guild has paid for. Hmm. Oh, so that represents... Those symbols represent the different guilds. Mm -hmm. So... All right. Back. You want to go upstairs and have a look at that room? Sure. Let's go take a look. 
maybe give you some clarity because I'm. It might. Yeah. Oh, how did you get up there? Here we go. Okay, ready. You good? Yep. get to that room okay yeah i'm in here so you can see there's three there's three people in the bucket two people in the spoon and then two people that are unlabeled but that have like do you see the the cloth that they have under them yeah it's like a the one... blue right the one behind them, yeah. Which is like the neutral blue color that they have down here. Okay. So... Who sits in the king's chair? Well, that's... I don't know. Uh, oh, if you oh, go into it, the bottom room, it would be this. A... It would be this girl. That definitely her because she's in. Yeah. yeah, that's that's my thought. Is that she would go there? That's right. That's I put her there first, and then I. Okay, so that means she's in the carpentry guild. Yeah. And if she's in the Carpentry Guild. I don't know if this is correct. I have no idea. very confused if we had clear instructions i i don't understand the instructions like i understand men can't be sat next to women that's fine but it's the never sit behind or in front of another resistance member how many resistance member members are there there's four i'm guessing So let me check the resistance members. You have one of each guild. And one of them's a purple dude with the uh, the cogs. One of them's a purple dude with the cogs. So this guy's a resistance member. That that seat, whoever goes there. So that means behind them a resistance member can't go there. Can't go there. So what if we swap these two out? No, she has to be there. So that means she has to be there. Unless she can be swapped with, Unless like, her. Right? Yeah. Or her. Uh, but wait, the bucket lady, which was this one this one was definitely a bucket so she has to be there right the the green ribbon and then spoon top knot girl spoon that's fine so cog okay that's cool and how do we know which one of these is a resistance member That's what I don't, I'm not sure on. So a resistance member, cogs and purple, resistance member, 
Somebody says they all have four different traits. You should have four different traits. Traits from the picture. Wait, these four... So that's what I understand. There's two of the same doll. Or two of the same head in these... Uh, yeah. Display cases. Yeah, that one? Yeah. Yeah. She was definitely Spoon. That's fine. So if she's there, uh, yeah, that has to be there. She has to be there. These, this is correct. These two are correct. Right here? Okay. These two are correct. Because this one was the Spoon Lady. Plus, it's purple, so she has to sit there, right? It's the... Right. And, and so she can only sit next to a girl. Right. So, so that's right. This is correct. And then these two over here, this here. yeah, this was bucket guy. So sat next to him, and also him, he is resistance. This guy, I. The guy in the end is resistance because he's cogs. Right. Right. So cogs. All right, is sat behind bucket, or sat in front of bucket. So bucket cannot be resistance and this is a bucket person right so this bucket person unless can't be resistance can't be resistance unless these two behind are swapped with these two but then no this one has to be here because she was in the king's thing right so this is also correct so if this is correct um and this is resistance. That means this can't be resistance. Which means one of these three is the resistance. And we got spoon, bucket, and mason resistance. Or construction resistance. Spoon, bucket, and construction. So this person can also not be resistance. Impossible. Because we already have one of those symbols being the resistance. So that leaves sure. this person and this person who can be resistance. Uh, that being said, if they are resistance, this person is a bucket. They have to stay there. Unless this person and this person swap. Oh no, that's a dude. My bad. So this is correct. The only thing is that the this last row. Uh, this guy. Yeah, this. I I swap these two, but I can swap. Them. I mean, I don't know that this last row. Yeah. I think could go either way. I think this last row could go either way, honestly. I think everything else is fine. I feel like there's a piece that either we're missing or something isn't making sense or we're like interpreting it wrong. Well, so far, uh, I think this all makes sense to me. This can guy you send me back upstairs. Yeah. Thank you. These guys have their appointed place. I don't know if they do. See, they were upstairs in a case, but the case had no... No tabard, no guild to associate them with. 
Well, actually, bald guy is kind of here, but like, what is this? What is that tabard? That's nowhere. Oh, hang on. So I think, so the bald guy with the monocle yeah. is supposed to sit next to the top hat, the guy with the top hat. Because they're in this case, they're on a they're on a bench. All right. And so, the guy with the monocle is on the left. Uh, yeah, or is to the right of the guy with the top hat. Okay. From from the the top hat guy's perspective. From their perspective. Yeah, I don't, uh, it's not really working out. Like nothing's happening. Hmm. Oh, let me see. It's... Oh, can you swap the top hat and bald with each other? Mm-hmm. Because that's how they're arranged on this bench up here. Okay, so maybe, maybe over here. Okay, and then so bucket. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna re reiterate what you said up here. Oh yeah, this dude's um, bucket. The 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 monocle on the right eye. He's bucket. Okay, so toss him back to the bucket, but then put the monocle or put the bald monocle with Got the it. top hat. Let's go. Sweet. Okay, so at least the first two rows were right. Yeah. <laughs> He's just getting those last little pieces. All right, something clicked. I'm guessing it's coming down. the door. No, it won't open. Oh, it's the gate in here, probably. No? Was it upstairs? Did something click upstairs? Or? I, I'm not sure. He didn't come in from here. I that's like that's I, where we came in from. I feel like upstairs in that okay, room something might have happened, yeah. Oh, maybe that's what it was. There was yeah, like a yeah. gate. Let me go check. Okay. Yeah, keep looking around. Just do a double check up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, it's up at the top. Oh, I have to mark the four resistance members. Perfect. Um, That's what it is. One's right here. So, so I have... Okay. All right. So, what does that person look like? Uh, long mustache. Okay. Yes. Got it. Uh, they can't sit next to another resistance member. They can't sit in front of or behind. In front of they or behind. They can sit next to. Perfect. So that one is not a resistance member. Um, the other ones. So it wouldn't be any of these in the front row. Okay. So it's one one per. Well, it can only be well, one. Yeah, but it can only be one religious person. Right. So nobody well, in the front that's, row. That's the resist. So to go in, if you go into the room, that chart tells you which people associated with which guild are the resistance members. Yeah. So one buck now, but, but only one of them is religious. Right. But what about the others? What guild and... Uh, well, I mean the, the other oh, three guilds. One of each. Yeah. One of each guild. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it can't be this person. Uh, right? So this person's automatically ruled out. The person behind. behind yes. Right. Um, so it could be anyone else, right? <laughs> Let's see here. How do we know what the other resistance members are then? Okay, we have one of each, so I guess just try them out. 
Uh, try uh, this one here. Wait a minute. If it's one of each, hang on. So it can't be cog. So it can't be that one. So. Oh, it can't be this one. I see. Right. Right. So, so it's got to be glass blower. No, okay, it can't be. So... No, it can't be this guy. Uh, yes, it can. Yes, it can. It can be this guy. Okay. Which means it's not this person. And now spoon, it can be this person. Uh, she's a top knot lady. Okay. And now leaves us with bucket, which is this person here. Uh, what do they look like? Uh, a dude with a monocle, right side, or left left eye. Sorry. Got yeah. it. Oh. Well, I'm locked in this room now. All right. Uh, do you need? I have ciphers. I can get you out. So I have letters, uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, I have... Oh, do you have symbols? Oh. I have a bunch of, uh, like, musical, uh, whatever. What, oh, we might have to listen. I can't remember what they're called. These are, these are notes. Okay. Can you hear this? Yes. But I don't... So here's A, B, C, D. Can I put this down? Oh, okay. Um, okay, I have something marked one on it. So G, A, Something B. The rest of that is gone. Do you have any? I'm going to try to GA something B. I'll try them all. <laughs> okay. Some type of music. Okay. All right. Um, so I have a bunch of different sheet music that have different titles on them. Mm -hmm. A lard. I can't pronounce it. Ode? Yeah, oh, I, I, I have this too. Oh. Okay, I have sheet music here on my on my left and right, and it says here, History of the People's Hymn. Every composer changed the hymn to their liking when Yide followed the original composer, Allard. Okay, so oh. I have, like, Z equals C, another symbol equals D, another symbol equals E. Okay, and then I have a symbol equals something, which I'm guessing is F, and mm -hmm. then G, A, and B. Right. Okay. Okay. So I have to play what's here. Okay, what's what's the symbol that looks like Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be this, this will be tough. All right. Well, it's so, one Hang on. Bef uh, one that looks so like a I JB, to... JB. Uh that is a G, but G. here's the thing is I have six different sheets that I need to put in order. So we got to figure out what order they need to go in. Oh. Oh, I understand. No, no, never mind. I lost it. Okay. But I understand how this works. You said it was a G? Yes. Okay. It starts with the G. I'm assuming this is first because it has a number one on it. Or stamped with a one. What 
use that. Why did Why do we get the music right before? How how do we do that? Uh cuz it was G A um whatever note corresponds to a Z, to the letter Z on your chart. Oh, G A C. G A C. And it it could have been if we since we got the first one right, we got to go on to the next one. Right. I see, I see, I see. So what, what is so, the next one? I, I don't know. I got to figure out what order they're supposed to go in. So you you had you said you had a, a thing on the wall with some yeah, phrases I got, on it. Yeah, I got I got C D and E. Well, you were reading something. Yeah, it just like says here. Uh, history of people's hymn. Every composer changed the hymn to their liking. When ye when Yidi followed the original composer Allard something okay. variations by and then it's that's it well th that's the thing is i have a large yd as on the on my sheets okay every composer changes like him the king when yd followed the original composer allard okay creating so allard variations no creating variations by blank uh okay is there more text anywhere um so let's do Allard then. Yeah. Let's try that. What are so his? So that was G A C B. I yeah, think? We, okay, we did that one. You did that one. Okay. Yep. So creating variations. So let me put this one here. So that's a variation of the same thing. So that would be C A G B. Try that. Negative. Mm. Okay, well, here's the other. Yep. Here's the other one then. Uh, try G F C B. Yes. Okay, so that's correct. Do you have any more of those phrases as to who did what in what order? Because I don't have anything in here. I can look around. Yeah, that'll help me. Because I've got four more to place in the correct order. I don't think there's anything anywhere. Because the, the, that, that thing is like beside the organ and there's nothing uh, else. Okay. So I that was that was Yide. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we just so, try? Why don't we just try some other ones? Okay. So can you read to me what it said on the on that text again? Yep. It said every composer history of the people's hymn. Every composer changed the hymn to their liking. When Yide followed the original composer Allard, creating variations by, and then the rest of the text is ripped. Okay. Oh, uh, are they alphabetical? Uh, I got a I got a hint from a chat member, cause okay, I think I got it. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so the next one to do is, um, G C C, and then uh, whatever symbol. Is like two dots plus a sideways check mark. Yes. I don't have that symbol That's on my D, sheet. D. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then from here it is G F C C.
All right. That should be. That should be. Okay. Oh god, this is this is messed up. Okay. Uh, C F C F G C. It's working, Nikolai. It's working. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. All right. So some of, I don't know what two of these notes are. Yep. So the first note looks like a number seven. Yep. That's an E. With two ticks. Two, okay. So E, F, G, and then the last note is a backward C with an open dot and closed dot to its right. I don't have that. Oh, that's an A. I have that. I thought I didn't have that. It's the last one's an A. There we go. Oh, that's the sound I wanted to hear. Oh, I still can't leave the room though. Well, there's a big blue light shining. I think I can't leave the room. Something's happening. Uh -oh. A banger. That's a nice tune. I like yeah. It. Oh, doors open. That was loud. Oh, where'd you go? I'm up. I'm up top still. Oh, I can bring you down. Uh, I can just drop. I can. Uh, you can fall down there without having to take the platform. Um, is it has a door opened anywhere? Yes. Up here, up on the organ. Oh, okay, I'm coming down. Oh, the stairs came up. Okay, I'm here. Let's do it. Ready? I'm, yeah. Now sing the souls that lived here before. Yet all but two, we fled through the door. Anyone like us, caught in the ice. Hark to our song, reforge the device. When King betrayed us. You betrayed the king, Warlike. Oh, sought defiance. Oh, 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 what's that? All of his subjects formed an alliance. We opened the door, but left two behind. They hit our device, for you left to find. To keep it secure, it's broken in three. Assemble the parts, and you shall be free. Into the graveyard, look for the glass. Cast in the foundry, base made from brass. And under our town, guarded by guilds, find the contraptions clockmaker builds. Ones here assembled, let shine the light, for it shows the way. Out of this dark night. All right. Looks like we got to go graveyard, uh, wherever that is, and then the town. Graveyard, oh. the clock tower, and the town, or whatever. Cool. That was uh, incredibly dramatic. I yeah. appreciate that.
Ready? Uh, do I? Yeah, you need to do it too. Do I... Oh, okay. Station, my liege. Silence, serpent. Oh, oh my God! This does not concern you. Does it not? You know, they escaped your keep. They are out there. <laughs> yeah, we made it oh, out. Really? My lord, set me free, and I will hunt them down. You've Bring already them tried, to stupid your justice. Jester. <sighs> so be it. Okay. You. What do you say we take a break there, uh, Nikolai? That sounds good to me. I think this that was a, good. Uh, do we have to save? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. All right, chat. That is it for me today. I mean, what a cool stream. Stream for like four hours here. Five hours almost. That's quite a long stream. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one where we're going to continue this, or we'll play something else. We're going to have fun either way. But I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the subs and I appreciate all the all the things, man. You guys are so cool. And it always feels great coming here. Uh having support, chilling with friends, playing games on a Friday, getting ready for the weekend. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't burn out. Be kind to yourselves. And uh we'll see you.